Rama! What is going on? It's Polish Rob, it's Charmeleon, and guys, today officially marks the first day of the Sword and Shield March Madness Pack Battle Opening. Let's go. I am super excited. My first battle is against Sudan segment, so we gotta beat him to move on to the next round for this March Madness Sword and Shield Pack Battle Opening. So, me and Sudan gave it a little bit of thought. We talked about it. And we decided to go ahead and open six individual Sword and Shield Blister Packs, guys. So that's what we're going to go in head and do. I know he picked six of his. I know he's just doing this video as well. And I'm pretty sure he's good at picking packs and getting great pulls. So I'm also going to put his video below in the description. And then probably in the eye above. That way you guys can go ahead and click on this video and find out what he pulled as well. But hopefully we can go ahead and beat Sudan, move on to the next round, and get as far as we can in this tournament. So I am super excited. Today marks the first day. I know Charmeleon is excited. So let's go ahead and open some of these packs. Now I know that you are wondering how are the point system going to work. Well basically every single pull that we get, whether it's reverse hollow rare, a gold card, a hyper rare, an ultra rare, it's all going to accumulate to some points. So at the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and count all our points up and see how much we got and see if we can beat Sudan himself. So guys, stick around. We're opening these six blister packs. Let's go ahead and get some good pulls, some hyper, some gold cards, and move on to the next round. Let's get it. All right, Rob Mob, so we have our six blister packs. I'm going to go ahead and set them down in front of my phone camera. We're going to take a look at them. We're slowly going to open them and see what kind of pulls we can get. I'm super excited about this. I'm really hoping that we can get some monster, monster pulls. That way we can go ahead and move on to the next round and hopefully be king of the March Madness Tournament. It is super exciting. It's my first time doing this kind of pack battle style tournament. So, pretty happy that we're doing it. I met some great, great PokeTubers guys over this. So, I'm going to go ahead, move on, tag all these guys in my videos so you guys can get to know them too. Watch their content. They're super awesome, super chill, super funny, and they provide good stuff for Pokemon, guys. So it's all worth it. It's all in good fun. I do think there might be a $100 prize worth of Pokemon stuff at the end, so which should be pretty interesting. Um, if we do get to the finals and we do win that round, I'm for sure going to be videoing that mystery box for sure. So anyways, let's see if we can start off strong and beat the one and only suit on segment so sable is our reverse common and the rare is a cramorant v so we did get a v card it's worth a few points not sure exactly i have to go over the rules and find out how many points it's worth but a strong pull to start off this pack battle so a cramorant v guys is our first card and of course our energy cards as well all right good start so we got a cramorant v for our first pack and now we move on to our second with the Snorlax VMAX artwork on the front and same with the pack look at that that goes there I forgot to put that trash there because we know we don't like trash in front of us but we don't mind picking it up at the end kind of it's always worth picking up the trash at the end. all right so one pack down five more to go we're gonna do our three card flip and we have a Hyper Potion to get that in focus. Citrus Berry, Corvus Squire, Q-Fant, Ball Toy, Salandit, Galarian Ponyta, Mincino, Rhyhorn is the reverse common, and the rare is a Whimsicott non-holographic. Oh no! Oh no, did that affect the point system? I think so. I don't think we get, gained anything from that pack, which is not too good. Kind of worrisome. I wonder what Sudan is getting over there. By the way, our videos are going to post at the same time. So if you get a notification for mine, after you finish watching this video to the end, make sure you click on Sudan's and watch his as well. So you guys can play with us and see what you think, the or who you think the winner may be. So make sure you click on his video after you are done watching mine and find out what kind of pulls he got as well. Wulu, Shelder, Bolton is the reverse rare. So we got a reverse rare. That counts for a uh, reverse hollow rare. So that counts for a good amount of points. And a rare card is a Tapu Coco V, guys. All right. So the second pack wasn't too much, but the third pack comes in clutch. So we got a Tapu Coco V card 
And we got a Bolton Reverse Hollow Rare. Awesome. I know that's worth some points. So, whoo! All right. Mix it for that second pack. Let's see if the, or yeah, mix it for the second pack. Let's see if the uh, fourth pack gives us any luck also. All right. Good card. Of course, our three card flip. And we have a Thwacky. Pokemon Catcher, Drizzle, Snome, Grookey, Shelter, Mawile, Galarian Ponyta, Verse Hollow is a common mud bray, and the rare is a Rillaboom non hollow graphic. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fourth pack let us down, guys, but we still have two more packs to go, so hopefully we can go ahead and get something good from these. All right, single blister packs, cardboard packs, whatever you want to call them, do not let us down. Let us pull something good. Woo! All right. Gaventula, Air Balloon, Poke Kid, Joltik, Silicobra, Blipbug, Goldeen, Yamper, Reverse Hollow is a Uncommon Eldegrass, and the rare is. A Gengar Holographic. All right, so it's still a holo card. So I do think it counts for a little, little, little bit of something. But we have one more pack to go. Guys, what if this was a gold card? God, would, or a hyper. That would just send us all the way to the top. But we'll see. We'll see what we get. Hopefully, hopefully it's something, something, something good. All right, so that's the code card for y'all. We got a three card flip, and we have a quick ball. Don't mind those, pretty good trainer card from this set. Mantine, Dottler, Goldeen, Diglett, Scorpy, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pokemon Center Lady is Reverse Hollow Uncommon, and the rare is a Marshana non holographic Kind of depressing. Woo! Kind of worrisome. I feel like Sudan did get some good pulls. Not sure too yet what he got, but I will find out. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and tally up the points, let you know what they came out to, and find out how much we accumulated and how much of it we had. How much of a head start we have in front of Sudan. So guys, bear with me. Be right back. Hang around. Stick around. Let's count some points. All right, Rob Mob. So I tallied up the points, and this is what it came on to. And I'm going to show you the card and tell you the point we got for it as well. So, here we go. We got the Bolton Reverse Holographic, which is worth one point. So, we got a point for that. Then we got a Gengar Rare Holographic, which was worth two points. So, two points for that. Then we got a Tapu Koko V. That was worth three points. And we got a Cramorant V, which was worth three points which came out to a total of nine points, guys. So not too bad. Um, we didn't get any full art trainers or hyper rares or gold cards, but I think we do have a pretty good solid point base to go ahead and, go ahead and move on to the next round. Best of luck to suit on segment. Hope you got some fire pulls as well, but may the best man win and move on to that next round. Guys, hope you enjoy this content. Hope we can move on to the tournament. Hopefully we can get there to the end, and hopefully you guys are enjoying this style of pack battle as well. Rob Mop, you know how we like to say our goodbyes on this channel. So until next time, I'm out.